Hey guys, other boy reactions here. All right, we're hopping back into Doctor Who. Um, so I just finished watching um, episode nine and I saw that it's a cliffhanger two-parter episode. So um, we're gonna jump right into um, season one, episode 10, The Doctor Dances. Um, so let's just hop right into it. <laughs> Go to your room. Oh my God. Go to your room! I'm really glad that worked. Yeah. Those would have been terrible last words. <laughs> Sonic Blaster, 51st century. The police are on their way. Anything else you'd like? I've got a whole house here. Anything else you'd like to help yourself to? It's an awful it's... lot of food, isn't it, Mr. Lloyd? A lot more than on anyone else's table. Mm -hmm. Half this street thinks your missus must be messing about with Mr. Averstock, the butcher. <laughs> but she's not, is she? You are. <laughs> Wire cutters, torch, food. Sent it to its room. This is its room. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my mummy? No! That big pizza again! Go drop the banana! Why not? Good sauce of potassium! Oh, come on! It's keeping us here until we can get out of it! Go down! Oh, yes, Rose! Yes, girl! Jack just disappeared? The fuck? Okay, so he's vanished into thin air. Why is it always the great looking ones who do that? I'm making an effort not to be insulted. I mean, <laughs> men. Okay, thanks. That really okay. helped. Rose, doctor, can you hear me? You mean the child can phone us? And I can hear you. Fuck. Oh. Ew. Hanging from a rope, thousands of feet above London. Not a cut, not a bruise. Yeah, I know. Captain Jack fixed me up. Oh, we're calling him Captain Jack now, are we? Well, his name's Jack, and he's a captain. He's not really a captain, right? What is Do you he? know what I think? I think you're experiencing Captain MB. Oh shit! Most people notice when they've been teleported. Oh my god. Oh, they're so sweet. Then what fits my hands up? Jack called him, um... Nanobots? Nanogenes. Nanogenes, yeah. Subatomic robots. There's millions of them in it. See? Woke up one morning when I was still working for them. Found they'd stolen two years of my memories. I'd like them back. Fuck. They stole your memories? Two years of my life. No idea what I did. A total recall. Friend over there doesn't trust me. For all I know, he's right not to. Watch her, Jenkins. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. Jenkins. Oh my Sorry. god. So I, I, I don't know what's the matter with. Oh my god. Lock me up, fine, but not here, please. That's anywhere so good. here. You'll be all right, miss. <laughs> what's happening to me? Wife's name. I... You got kids. What's your name? Please, let me go. It's too late for you. I'm sorry, but please it's let too me late go. For you. What you mean? Oh my god, that is terrifying. The words distract the guard heading in my general direction. I don't think that'd be such a good idea. Don't worry, I can handle it. I've gotten to know Algie quite well since I've been in town. Trust me. You're not his type. I'll distract him. Oh, that's why he slapped him on the ass. Don't wait up. Look at her face. <laughs> Relax. He's a 51st century guy. He's just a bit more flexible when it comes to dancing. Mommy. Oh, no. I support, it's me. No, get away. Mommy. Get away. It's me, Jack. Get the fuck Jack. away from him. Are you my mommy? Get away from him. Don't you get it? Get away! Run! Run! Run, you fool! The effect's becoming airborne. Accelerate. Bye, babe. On the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Go! We're time travelers from the future. Mad, you are. We have a time travel machine. Seriously? It's not that. All right, you got a time travel machine. I believe ya. Believe anything, me. What future? I was born in the city. I'm from here in like 50 years' time. 
From here. I'm a Londoner. From your future. But... But you're not... Well... German. Nancy, <laughs> the Germans win. don't come here. Right. They don't win. They don't win. Don't tell anyone I told you so. Do you know what? You win. We win. There was enough nanogenes in there to rebuild a species. Oh, God. We're the getting it fuck? now, are we? When the ship crashes, the nanogenes escape. Billions upon billions of them. Ready to fix all the cuts and bruises in the whole world. Oh what my they find first is a dead child. Oh, my God. Probably killed earlier that night and wearing a gas mask. And they brought him back to life. They can do that. What's life? Life's easy. A quirk of matter. Nature's way of keeping meat fresh. Oh. Nothing to a nanogene. One problem, though. No soul. These nanogenes, they're not like the ones on your ship. This lot have never seen a human being before. Don't know what a human being's supposed to look like. All they've got to go on is one little body, and there's not a lot left. Can't tell what's gas mask and what's skull, but they do their best. Then off they fly, off they go, work to be done. Because you see, now they think they know what people should look like, and it's time to fix all the rest. Oh, and they won't ever stop. God. They won't ever, ever stop. The entire human race is going to be torn down and rebuilt in the form of one terrified child looking for its mother, and nothing in the world can stop it. I didn't know. One race, just like the fucking Nazis. Jack! He's not your brother, is he? Teenage single mother in 1941. So you hid. You lied. You even lied to him. I am my mummy. Oh, God. He's going to keep asking, Nancy. Yes, I am your mummy. Mummy? You are my mummy? She just said yes, you little bitch. You are my mummy? He doesn't understand. There's not enough of him left. Oh, my God. I am your mummy. I will always be your mummy. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Come on, you clever little nanogenes. Figure it out. See? Recognizing the same DNA. Give me a day like this. Give me this one. Nanogenes recognize the superior information, the pair of DNA. They didn't change you because you changed them. Doctor! Good lad! The bomb's already commenced detonation. I put it in stasis, but it won't last long. Change your plan. Don't need the bomb. Can you get rid of it? Safely as you can. Rose! Yeah? Goodbye. No. I'll give you moves. Everybody lives, Rose. Just this once. Everybody lives! Termination of Captain Jack Harkness in under two minutes. 100% probability. Oh, no. Lovely. Oh my god, please! Take him, take him. Welcome to the TARDIS. Much bigger on the inside. You'd better be. I think what the doctor's trying to say is, you may cut in. <laughs> Rose! I've just remembered. What? I can dance. I can dance. Actually, Doctor, I thought Jack might like this dance. Yes, I'm please. sure he would, Rose. I'm absolutely certain. <laughs> but who is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was good. Oh, my God. I thought Jack was going to die. I'm so happy they saved him. That was the best part of the whole episode. Um, they came back for him. 
yes, he's gonna be with them, at least for a little bit. I mean, I really wish he could be with them for the rest of the season. But I doubt that's gonna happen. But he'll at least be with them for the next episode. Um, God, that would be such a great group. Just be a threesome. God, just be a threesome. I mean, who knows which way <laughs> the doctor swings. He's, he's so asexual. And Jack is bisexual. He's like pansexual, so he'll be able to, you know, I mean, just, just be a threesome. Oh my God. That would be such a great group. Just stay like that forever. <laughs> um, that was a good two-parter. Um, very interesting. Started off very creepy, but it just goes to show that bad things happen when you don't tell the truth. So just tell the truth and be honest with yourself. Be honest with your loved ones. Um, otherwise karma's gonna come and bite you in the ass. So we have that theme going and then we also have um, this parallel with what's happening with World War II and the Nazis and how just like the Nazis were trying to you know, obliterate everyone and, and just create um, a master race. This um, mishap with the little child and the nanobots were mistakenly creating this one race um, the way they think it should be. Um, which is very, it's very interesting how they did that parallel. It was just very creative and um, twisted and um i mean now i see why they they had the gas mask i mean there was a reason for it because the nanobots nano genes they're not perfect um they were recreating um everything that that child had on they don't know what's they can't they couldn't tell the difference but you think they would i mean they're supposed to be so it's like superior technology, so you would think that they would be able to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. But they didn't. Um, but that was very interesting, and I love how the answer was um, almost almost like the, you know, the mother's love, but it was really, it was, the doctor said, um, you know, the nanobots uh, detected the superior DNA, and it was hers, um, the original. Um, and then they just worked off of that. I thought that was interesting. And she gets her son back. And now he knows that he that he's her son. Um, and he probably always, a part of him probably always suspected. And that's why, you know, even in, um, in that state, he was looking for his mom because well, first of all, he never knew where his mom was, but then I bet you a part of him suspected that she, you know, that Nancy was his mom. Yeah, I'm glad that they, that she got her son back and that they can have an honest relationship now. I really like Jack. I mean, I guess you could say it's because he's good looking, but he's just, he's very charming and he's a good person and he treats Rose well and I mean, she needs, she needs that. I mean, the doctor... You know, we can't wait for the doctor forever to, you know, make a move. <laughs> I mean, I thought he cared for her in that way, but he... I mean, he seems totally okay with her, you know, bringing all these other guys <laughs> on board. So, um, maybe he just wants her to be happy. Maybe he's not... He can't give her, um, romance. He can't give her an intimate relationship. And so, he needs to have all these other guys. <laughs> in Rose's life because he can't give her that. I mean, so far, um, he hasn't been able to. And maybe that's okay. I mean, maybe they're just friends. Maybe they're, or maybe their bond is, is beyond, um, you know, physical intimacy or romantic, um, intimacy. They're just, their bond is just so strong that they don't even need that. They're just, they're just the best of friends. And maybe that's okay, at least for now. I don't know. I'm just glad Jack is on board. I'm so glad they saved him. I totally forgot that um, the doctor's uh, spaceship can... can. I forgot he had the spaceship. <laughs> and that um, it could 
land and teleport anywhere, so. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. I love that Jack is like, like, he's from the 51st century and like, humans are like so advanced and have evolved so much that like, everyone is probably, you know, bisexual, pansexual. That is so perfect, because then there would be no discrimination. There would be no hatred in that, at least in that way. And humans by then had, you know, found other races from other worlds, and so um, there's probably no racism, you know, even on Earth in the 51st century from where Jack is from. Like, that's totally been obliterated. Um, bigotry has been obliterated. I mean, that sounds amazing. I'm sure they have their problems too, but <laughs> there's always gonna be someone who thinks they're better than someone else, so. Someone who has to ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> um, oh God, this just made my day. That made my day that he joined them. Oh my God, I love that. We'll have to see how long it lasts. But I want Rose to be happy. I want her to be happy. I thought she looked amazing in these last two episodes. <laughs> her hair looked amazing, her makeup looked amazing. I like that shirt on her. I can see it wasn't right for that time period. Oh, and again, the doctor, like, didn't even know what time period they're in. Maybe, I guess he just didn't care because he just knew he had to follow that, um, that ambulance thing. And where was that from? Where did that come from? That was so random. Um. I wonder if they're gonna touch on that later on, like, if there's gonna be some continuity. Um, cause it, it was called, what, a Tula? A Tula ship? Is that what a Tula? I don't know what it, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll touch more on that, um, maybe in the next episode. I love the idea of those little nano bots, uh, and I feel like that could happen, especially if humans are still alive in the 51st century. Those will definitely be around. Some kind of technology like that will definitely have happened. I mean, it's so crazy how technology just will not stop. I feel like, that's why I feel like there has to be something out there. There has to be a god something. I mean, some kind of force that is causing, um, it keeps inspiring the people who are in technology scientists and um, mathematicians and everyone who's in that field, biologists, um, there has to be something that keeps inspiring and giving them um, ideas because like it just doesn't, you, ideas don't just come out of nowhere. I mean something has to be, we, we're receiving it from something. Um, like we're not alone. <laughs> like, like there is there is a, f a driving force that is, um, that is making us evolve. Um, you know, uh, we may not be evolving physically as much anymore, but we're evolving mentally and emotionally and technologically, is that the word? <laughs> it like doesn't stop. Like, um, come out with a new iPhone every year more advanced than the last. Um, I mean, we have new iPhones can, you know, recognize your face. That is alien technology. Like, if, if you told that to someone in, you know, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, they would be like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. And it's happening so fast now that, um, I mean, it's kind of scary how fast technology is going. It's like, we need to strike a balance between embracing it and, but also not being too immersed in it and too, being too connected because we don't want to become machines, do we? I mean, because I can see that happening. I can see sometime in the future, you know, the new cell phone will be like in our brain. It'll be like a little chip in our brain or in the back of our head. Like, you know, a couple episodes ago with Adam, we'll be able to communicate, you know, just by thinking um, our thoughts, um, you know, they'll be, our credit cards will be in our wrist or something. I mean, it's just, and then pretty soon we won't even be human. We'll, we'll be something else, but maybe, 
I mean, maybe it sounds scary now, um, but in the future, maybe that'll just seem normal. Um, because each new piece of technology that, that comes along almost desensitizes us to it so that um, we just think, oh, okay, now that, that this is the next, um, this is the natural pro progression. This is the next step. This is just the next step. And then um, eventually, before you know it, I mean, we're just going to be part machine. We're going to be like little Darth Vader's walking around, part man, part machine. Um, and then eventually, who knows what we're going to be. So I guess we are evolving um, physically because I, I just feel like eventually we're going to fuse with technology so much that we're going to become something else. Um, maybe that's the universe's plan. I don't know. But um, it's interesting to, to think about. Um, but right now I like being a human. <laughs> I, I like keeping my technology separate. Um, and I like talking with you guys. Um, you know, and, and keeping my thoughts separate <laughs> instead of like, you know, just thinking my thoughts and, and you guys like automatically um, being in my brain. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, I really enjoyed these past two episodes. Um, I hope you did too. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. All right, I will see you next time, guys. Bye. I can't tell you about me.